Hey guys, today we're going to be going over offensive capture the flag on Black Ops. Um, the first thing to be aware of is claymore flags. Now I always handle claymores with my body rather than shooting them because that way I'm able to maintain advantage over any possible opponents. Pay attention to how I pull this off. I want you to be able to duplicate it by the end of the night. People always ask me, they say, Alex, how is it so, how is it so natural for you to be so good in game? And my only response is, uh, I don't know, you know, like, you know how to ride a bike, but you're not able to tell someone how you're able to do it, you just know. It's kind of like my ability in game, except, uh, I know how to ride a bike really well. If I needed to teach someone how to ride a bike, I could do that as well. That's kind of like why I've decided to become a pro gamer, is, uh, my ability to share my knowledge with the world. It's not just a natural ability to own shit in game. It's also just my ability to teach. Now we've got some schoolgirls coming around that are interested in a fight. Um, I'm just gonna avoid them and uh, take those guys out. I've also got that sniper up in the tower to worry about, so I'm not really pinned down. I'm just sort of restricted to movement. Now the defense I use here is very effective. I have the motion sensor out, which is gonna cover the two paths to my right and I've got my aimer pointed at uh, the path to my left. <clears throat> the only path that I do not have covered is the middle path. Um, so that's my weak point. Now, you'll see when I get out of this flash, there's a red dot on my map where the guy is. It's a, it's a popular playstyle to flash and then charge the flag carrier. So I was kind of expecting it, and I'm able to circle around his backside and get the kill here. Now you're going to see the smoke grenades come out here pretty quick. The main idea with that is you're going to create a line of sight obstruction to uh, the enemy. A lot of gamers make a mistake and throw the smoke grenade right on the flag. Not us though. The way that we do it is we put it between the enemy and the flag. That way the smoke screen is thicker and it actually becomes an obstruction rather than just a hassle. The most important part of advanced level gaming is having great focus this game, there's a lot of things that are going on at the same time, and if you can't keep track of everything accurately, you're not going to be able to uh, figure out where to place yourself, you're not going to know where to look, and you're not going to play like a beast, and I think that's the main goal, is to play like a beast. Like me. A beast. Like a Superman beast. The kind of gamer that makes girls take their panties off for you. The type of gamer that makes old women cross the street faster. So this guy's hot on my trail, so I'm going to turn around and plan a uh, surprise attack. It gets foiled by his teammate who comes along and uses up all my bullets. Notice how each time I'm pretty much unavailable to the flag. This is because uh, the other team is lacking permanent defensive players. Whenever I play capture the flag, I'm either on permanent offense or I'm a permanent defender. Now, uh, the enemy's defense is all concentrated on returning the flag, and uh, their offense is concentrated on capturing the flag. There's not really too many people over here, so I can get in position for a recap. What that's going to do is pretty much make the one score that my teammate just got into a double score. And uh, that's the kind of benefit you can bring to the team if you play effectively. Well, that's just about all I got for you today. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed the clip, and keep gaming.